everyone good morning welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is abby aslan i am currently about to be taking my last portion of the cpa exam um here in three days i think yeah three days and i start my full-time job in tax and public accounting at a big four firm on friday the day after i take my last exam so i figured this would be a really good week to do a week in my life considering i can't really get a lot of content for my first day of work since it is one virtual and two it's on a friday um and three i think we literally just have like a two hour orientation and then the rest of the day it's just like for onboarding and that kind of thing so i won't really be able to get much content on the day i start work so i thought doing a week in my life would be really beneficial um but i just finished taking my third mock exam and it's 12 45 on monday first monday of 2022 and i got a 75 on it i've so far on my first one which i took four days ago or five days ago i got a 62 second one i got an 85 and then this one i got a 75 but so i'm happy about that and i'm happy for the improvement obviously i didn't do as good on this one today but the second one felt a lot easier to me than today's did so it's okay i'm not worried about it i'm just gonna keep doing what i'm doing and studying but i'm starving right now so let's eat and then i'm going to take a break for a little bit um before i hop into reviewing my mock exam and yeah that's the plan we're gonna do some toasted coconut vanilla greek yogurt with some fresh raspberries and my favorite vanilla chocolate chip purely got this with granola right here my outfit that i'm wearing today i have on these sweatpants from set active that my boyfriend got me for christmas they're the dew color so so pretty i ordered a quarter zip because it was on sale and i wanted a matching piece with it and i think it arrived today so i'm gonna have to go pick that up and then i just have on this sweatshirt which is from katie creative co on instagram the more self love more self love written on it somewhere else and then i have on my mini uggs because it's actually really cold in houston right now wanted to talk to y'all about the sponsor of today's video which is built bar they sent me their mixed box and i absolutely love these bars they have so many different flavors there's literally 18 different flavors to choose from six of which are new they have flavors like salted caramel cookies and cream mint brownie raspberry coconut almond and so many more so there are truly so many different ones to try if you're hesitant about trying a flavor, I'm sure there's one that you will like. I personally love keeping these in my fridge and then just taking them out before I'm gonna go do a workout. I love using protein bars, especially for my early morning workouts. Like I'm the type of person that has to eat before a workout and I'm not going to take the time to cook a full on breakfast at 5.30 in the morning before I go to a spin class. So I love, love, love having these bars so I can A, get more sleep in the morning by not wasting time making breakfast and two, just eat it on my way to spin. I also love it if I'm just like working out in the middle of the day and I need some quick protein or having them after my workout as a post-workout snack. I was gonna go work out, but I feel like taking a walk right now. It's about time for me to take out my dog on a walk and it's a beautiful day. It's like, the high's like 65, which is, and it's super sunny. So I think I'm gonna just go on a walk, but I'm having this as a snack because I was getting a little hungry, but I love keeping them in my fridge. I'm eating the salted caramel right now. And this one specifically has 130 calories and 17 grams of protein. I love that they're gluten-free and they have no preservatives as well. And they use a natural flavoring. And I personally am I'm obsessed with the texture. I love trying out different protein bars and this has got to be like my favorite. I really hate powdery protein bars where you can like almost feel the grittiness of protein in the bar. This literally feels like you're eating a candy bar. It's crazy and they're coated in chocolate. But right now I am really hooked on the salted caramel and the mint brownie, especially when they're cold, they're just so good. But I have a coupon code for y'all to use and you can click the link in my description box and use the code abbyaslan 10 which I will have here on screen as well if you want to get a discount on trying out Built Bars and I can't recommend them enough. If you've tried Built Bars before, let me know your favorite flavor down below because I would love to hear it and you can like let other people know what flavor you really enjoy so if they're having a hard time picking. So, so yeah, be sure to check out the link in the description box and use my code ABBYASLIN10 if you wanna get 10% off and thank you so much to Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. Okay, I thankfully put up all of our Christmas decorations and everything on New Year's Day. Was that yesterday? No, it was two days ago. I am like starting my new year on January 6th after 
12 30 p.m when i'm done with my exam that's just when i'm actually planning on like sitting down and writing out my resolutions and everything but if you want to hear my resolutions like tips for starting with fresh slates for the new year and inspiration for all of that definitely check out my podcast it's just at not at what am i saying i'm like literally i do have an instagram for it it's at in bloom podcast but the name of the podcast is in bloom podcast it's always in the description box and i upload weekly on mondays but um i did talk about all of that in my podcast but basically long story short that's where all my resolutions are i love doing those episodes every year but i mentioned in that how i am not starting my new year like my day one of 2022 is not until this exam is over because i just feel like i can't really sit down and put a lot of energy into the new year besides making my resolutions until this exam is over. I really want to, in between taking my next exam and taking, um, and then having my first day of work, like that afternoon and evening, I really want to spend just like really like thinking of the year ahead and, and getting my space physically representative of a fresh start. I did already kind of start doing that because I did take down all the Christmas decorations, but I didn't do it until New Year's Day. I didn't do anything for New Year's. I studied for like 10 hours and then edited a video for two hours on New Year's Eve. I have a pile of laundry right here with my clean duvet cover up to like my hip that I need to go through. And that's a result of not unpacking until really late from going home and um, just dumping everything in my laundry basket because I overpacked as usual. I was able to go through like a lot of our storage stuff in our closets and clean out a lot of clutter so that was really nice and i think it's so important for starting off a new year to just like get rid of like the past year's clutter and everything but i'm gonna put the, this duvet cover on because it's been clean for like four days and i just haven't taken time to do it yet so i'm gonna do that and then we're gonna fold laundry and i'm gonna just turn on a youtube video or a podcast or something while i fold the laundry before i start going over my mock exam Bathroom right now obviously um, I just wrapped up my studying I'm gonna show y'all that um, I think it's papier pop I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce this but this brand they sent me some beautiful journals like for the new year and if you are into journals I can't recommend them enough um, I it's like as a sponsor they just sent these to me but the reason why I can't recommend them enough is because they have lots of different journals based on your goals and like your lifestyle and like what you want to journal for and each different kind has so many different designs um and they put my name on them um this one is so pretty it's, i almost just dropped my hat in the toilet oh my gosh um this one's so pretty it's like this iridescent type of design it says time to shine and this one is just a blank unrolled notebook and then they sent this wellness journal I love this like nude cream color with the blue. It's so pretty, such a pretty contrast. This one is incredible. Um, so you have two pages per day and this is kind of like what it looks like. If you can see it. Um, so lots of stuff going on. Like this is like such a nice spread, honestly. And it's not dated, which I love. You have like a little section to put your mood. Um, intention for the day, sleep, activity, um, hours, water take. You can plan out your meals, self-care, what went well today, space for thoughts and feelings, what you're thankful for, love that. And then last but not least, this one is like very reminiscent of the five minute journal. It's a gratitude journal and I love this green earthy vibe. These are gonna look so pretty on my desk, oh my gosh. So you have morning and nights, kind of like the five minute journal. I do wish that this had like a quote or something. Oh, you know what? it has quotes throughout it just doesn't have quotes on every single day like five minute journal you circle the day of the week put the day morning up, and it gives you an affirmation which i actually really like that because that's what i struggle with most 
in my five minute journal is the affirmation part. So I love that it puts them there for you already. Um, but then you can put today I look forward to three things and then the evening today I'm grateful for. And then just wanted to show you all that my quarter zip from Set Active did come in um, to match these sweatpants I'm wearing. I've literally been wearing these for two days straight don't tell um, and they're just so comfy and I love the color I just don't have anything this color I got a medium I think in this I didn't really want it that oversized I wanted it to just kind of fit and have room so um, and my joggers are small I believe or not joggers sweatpants and I also got this hat because the quarter zip and the hat were luckily on sale because it was like right after Christmas when I bought these and I just realized I don't have any hats really that are like this is definitely like a trucker hat vibe, but I love it like retro design and I love this like yellowy off. It's not even like cream, but it's yellow, but it's also not yellow, but I don't know. I just loved it and I loved the blue on it. It's so pretty and it's just a very retro cool vibe. And I morning everyone i am currently studying everything go figure but it is like almost 11. i've been studying for about two hours and taking my vitamins right now because i finished my coffee about an hour ago truly just feeling so drained today because i'm at this like tail end and i know tomorrow is like my hopefully last day ever of studying so a lot of anticipations building up you know and i'm just so uh ready for that moment to be here putting on these good molecules caffeine energizing hydrogel eye patches i got these when i went home in ulta because i just like wanted some eye patches but a lot of them are like super expensive but these were like less than 20 dollars i think and they're 60 patches so 30 pairs which is a lot um, I will say it's really hard to just get one of these out though. Like I always end up grabbing like more than one on accident and I don't know how to wear these. Like I don't know if the big part's supposed to be under your outer eye or inner eye. Like I'm just so confused by these things sometimes. But I have used them once and today's one of those days where I feel like it's taking me forever to wake up. So I'm gonna use these to like help just stimulate the way my eyes feel. Which I usually use my eye roller for that, which I still do, but um, sometimes you just need a little extra. See, I don't know how these work. I'm genuinely so confused. I like to think the small part goes on the inner part, but at the same time, does it? I don't really know. I'm leaving them on for about 30 minutes and I'm wearing my Lake Tahoe sweatshirt that I love so much from Princess Polly. So cozy and like even after washing the inside has remained so soft. Got on these Lululemon joggers. Um, they like zip right here. I've had them for a while. I think they're called the adapted state ones. Um, if you have short legs, like they probably will be a little long on you, but I just make it work. But I've realized that I don't like leggings that much. I actually like really like sweatpants and joggers like way more than leggings. Um, I like leggings in certain scenarios with certain outfits, but like for most days when I'm at home, I would much rather be in like loose fitting joggers and stuff. I don't know. Just made a little pb and j with my favorite raspberry fruit and chia spread and my usual green smoothie um i don't think i got to show you guys this but i got this for christmas from my parents and my dad got one for him and my mom and got one for my brother and sister-in-law too but basically it's like an air fryer toaster and i love it so far i haven't used it to like air fry anything yet but I'm so happy because I had mentioned to my parents when they were here during Thanksgiving that our air fryer was like on its last leg, kind of falling apart and everything like that. And they ended up getting me this, so, so sweet. Um, but I love it because instead of like having to store my air fryer like up in a cabinet and um, have a separate toaster, like this is just one appliance. So it reduces the number I have, which obviously optimizes my storage here. And it just makes everything a lot easier because like pulling out a whole appliance like to cook is annoying. So it's just like out like a toaster would be. Um, and it looks really good with like our appliances. And then I moved the coffee to the corner, um, which looks fine, moved these over and then we
morning everyone next day i am about to run the trader joe's it's like noon i mean i pretty much just i've like reviewed some stuff outlining the very last module for it that i didn't do yesterday because it was like a really long one um so all my writing is done for the day thankfully and now um when i get home i just need to take the aicpa practice test which is like a lot smaller than like a normal mock exam and i just need to keep reading through my notes i have like this really thick stack of stuff right here like all the notes that i've taken over the last week and i'm just gonna read through those and then i also have another like somewhat probably like half the size of that maybe a third of it um for just it stuff yeah i'm trying to like not dress like a college student and dress like i'm actually out of college so um yeah i just want to put more effort even if it means like still being comfortable just like looking more put together wearing the set active hat the sh uh, set is from all the ways from revolve i love it so much i love the color i love the fit of it i have a small in the top and bottoms and i'll leave them linked and i love the slit like makes these pants just look so pretty i love sweatpants that are like straight leg or wide leg so much love them so much and then these are jordans that griff got me for christmas they're like not the same color as my hat but they're close and i'm not trying to like match them perfectly i'm just trying to do like these like kind of yellowy tones neither one of us know what color the jordans are we don't know if they're like a cream if they're like a pistachio or it's just really weird because in different lighting they look different colors but that's the fit and then this is also from revolve um i'll also leave it linked because i always get lots of questions about it and i love it so much it's like my favorite initial necklace i've ever had head to trader joe's um some self-care to get my mind off of studying for a little bit Okay, super quick Trader Joe's haul. I was in and out of there pretty quick. I just needed to get some like restocks of things. We're completely out of almond milk, which we use daily. Um, but I got some of this lemon basil pasta salad. I got some pomegranate seeds. Always get two things of the just mango. I got some chocolate protein. This is just like the regular kind because I'm out of the chocolate flavored like protein I had. Um, I got some of this instant ramen. I went in there hungry and I didn't mean to. So I ended up just like grabbing random things. Um, I got some of these Honey Wheats pretzel sticks. They're so freaking good. We see them all the time years ago. And these plantain crisps, they're so good. Um, I wanna try this Pink Lady Apple Kombucha. I personally hated a lot of the kombuchas I've tried and I only like this one kind that I can get at home. Um, normally, in Publix has a Honey Crisp Apple Kombucha that's really, really good. So I'm hoping that this tastes similar. Um, so I can't wait to try that. I got this vegan tzatziki dip. I meant to get baby carrots to eat with it, but we do have baby cucumbers and celery, so that'll be really good with this. Some more of these vegetable wontons, because we they didn't have them last time, so I restocked. Got two things of almond milk, pineapple juice for green smoothies, and then two things of cold brew, and that is everything. Oh, and we got more eucalyptus for the shower, and then um, just these white flowers, and I'm gonna put them right here. I think I moved this plant somewhere for the time being. Hello everyone, I forgot to update y'all earlier, so I'm updating you now, but it's um, like 8.15 or 8.30. I've just been sitting here in, in the zone. Um, we had a Chipotle for dinner, just got it delivered. Um, <laughs> Griffin never likes it. I ran up to our like community space earlier to print out my notice of schedule, which is basically just like the sheet that we have to take into Prometric, the like says we're taking the CPA exam um, and it's super important to remember, but I've seen people say um, on Reddit and stuff that you just like don't have to have the actual physical copy of it, but I've always had it printed out and like everybody says that you can like just show it on your phone. And I've even heard, or I've seen somebody show on their phone like at Prometric, but something about it being my last exam, I didn't want to take any chances and like try it on my phone for the first time for my last exam. So it's like, I need to have this printed and my computer is like completely out of ink. Or not my computer, my printer. And the printer in our community thing is not working. I tried to get it to work for like 30 minutes and I was like, I'm wasting my time. So I placed a drive up order and Griffin so graciously went and picked it up from Target. Thanks babe. Yeah, you're the best. Um, so I can finally print my notice schedule, but I'm going through my like cram packets i have quite a bit left to go through we did the aicpa practice exam earlier and it actually went like really well um i didn't really i only like kind of was confused on like one of the sims but i like completely knew how to do the other ones they had and i only missed one of the multiple choice so i'm just like which was only 10 questions but 
I'm just ready to get this over with, but I'm just trying to keep like reading through things so my photographic memory can hopefully help me tomorrow. Um, that's why I like using like outlines instead of index cards because I can like recall where things are on notebook paper. Whereas an index card, I can't really do that as well because there's just so many index cards. Um, but that's just what works for me best. So I'm gonna finish going through these, but I'm gonna go to bed. I'm not gonna like do anything else extra tonight. Good morning, everyone. It's 7 a.m. on the dot. I just got to the Prometric Center. Yeah, I like to get here early, but I can do this. It's the last one, you guys, hopefully. And I can't believe it. Like, I rem it feels like yesterday when I was taking my first one. I don't, I don't know how it feels to y'all, but like, I just don't believe it's been six months since I started. I just don't believe it. I know I like to give myself a pep talk in the car on my vlog every time I take one. It's tradition. So I can do this. I'm so capable. I have put in the work and the effort and now all I have to do is just show up and do it and I can do it. I'm fully capable and I got this. We're going to crush it. I'm going to come out and hopefully, you know, it'll be my last one. But we're going to crush it and, you know, no matter what happens, I know that I try my best and that's all that matters. And I am so beyond thankful to even be in this position, to be like taking this and being able to study full time. So let's do it. Hi guys, home from my exam. I It's actually 2.16. I finished at like 11.40 um, and I just got home because I sat in my car for a bit and um, I was trying to decide if I wanted to go get my car washed or not and then I went to the car wash they did a really good job um, but I was there for like an hour so I wasn't anticipating that and of course like my drive back is like 30 or 40 minutes so um, that was fun but I don't I feel very like bleh about this exam I kind of feel comparable to how I did after audit with like a little bit of how I felt after far mixed in I hope I just like knew enough and did enough to get a 75. The multiple choice were way harder than I anticipated and I like, felt harder than like my mock exam multiple choice were, but the rest of it I felt fine on. So, and when I say fine, I mean, I like, I feel like I at least got 75% of the rest of it, um, if not more, especially on the rent communications. I felt fine on the rent communications part. Like now it's a waiting game for a month, but I did my best and that's all that matters. I prepared as much as I could. That's all that matters, but I'm making some pasta right now. I was gonna go get a pedicure, but I just don't wanna get back in the car. Um, so I'm not gonna do that today. Maybe I'll do that Saturday or Sunday, but that's that. I think the apartment's kind of a mess just from me studying and everything. My stuff is all over the place. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit, kind of get my desk cleaned off and situated and ready for work tomorrow and everything and then I'm just gonna relax. I really don't wanna do too much because I haven't been able to just like sit and do nothing in like six months, not really. I've obviously had breaks in between. I didn't really have a break between FAR and BC. It was like two days. So it's been like since before I started FAR that I've had a day to do nothing. So we're gonna do that. Okay, we just had dinner, um, but I wanted to show y'all some things that got in the mail and everything like that. But also, I just want to mention, one, how crazy it is that I literally start work tomorrow. It just like hasn't set in that like this is like the rest of my life that's starting tomorrow. Like it's not just like an internship. And it's just, it's even more wild because I like got my job offer a year and a half ago. So it's just been like a long time coming and it just felt like it was always so far away and like now it's here and I'm just like oh my gosh this is crazy and also it's so crazy because I feel like I haven't ever like been able to put a term to it but when I have free time I really struggle with figuring out what I want to do in my free time and I'm overwhelmed like I should be happy to have free time and I should be excited about it and I am and it's literally 12 hours of my day today like or not even 12 because I got home at like two but like 10 hours of my day today I have free and I'm just like overwhelmed by the options of what I can do with my time right now 
and I'm, I'm excited to have free time, but I could read, I could get in the bathtub, I could shower and wash my hair, which I really, 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 really need to do, um, and then get in the bathtub and read. I could like tidy up and like prepare my space for tomorrow. I could like sit down, write out my resolutions. I could watch some YouTube videos and just sit on the couch because I never do that anymore. Um, I could literally just lay in bed and watch TikTok if I want. Like. I'm overwhelmed by my options and I don't know what I want to do. I started cleaning off my desk. I like dusted it off and I need to wipe it down still. I'm going to get my desk situated. I want to sit down, write out my resolutions and kind of like reset maybe like my notion or something. Um, just some like new year prep and planning and not in like an extravagant way. Like this whole freaking new year reset. Like it's a gradual process. Like it doesn't happen overnight, you guys. It's literally a gradual process of implementing change, new habits, new routines, especially when my lifestyle is about to change like crazy. It's a lot at once, but I got a new vacuum in the mail. It's right here. Um, one of my resolutions is to like not spend impulsively, which I already like go by the rule of thumb, like think about it for two weeks and then if you want it two weeks later then consider buying it then but don't like just buy things on a whim and of course I've br broken that a few times like throughout the year and everything but I've literally been thinking about a new vacuum since October and I had a gift card and I got this one off Amazon and it's a shark and it's a really pretty green color reflective metallic green and it's like a cordless one I really wanted a cordless one just so it'd be way easier to pull out and just vacuum up hair and dust because hair and dust accumulates like every two or three days in our apartment and it's just gross and we normally only vacuum once a week and this will just make it a lot easier than having to pull out the whole vacuum but y'all know how we like it griffin's already tested it out and like vacuumed some spots because he was really excited about it because he's the one that normally vacuums anyways um and then also you can detach this part and use it as a handheld cordless and then it also has this little brush um dusting like type one that sucks up stuff and there's also like a small one for dusting which right here wait no i don't know where it went but griffin was using it on his desk like at small areas for dust so we'll let you know how you how we like it i'll keep you updated in future vlogs i also forgot to show you all this uh, these are from 11 and 11 i forgot to show you all this because i got it in the mail when i wasn't vlogging but they sent me this candle it's so sick it's like an air force one shoe candle it's like the perfect little piece of decor on griffin's nightstand um so yeah we love that i wanted to show you all this i have spent so much money in gifting at base or through base's brand like whether it's i bought it through revolver through their actual website it's the best gifts for like people that you get like nicer gifts for I got a new makeup case from Griffin for Christmas and I was so excited because I wanted a new one because I had the pink one, like the OG pink one. They remade them to where the material you can wipe clean now and like get all the makeup out. So it's so much better because mine was filthy and I like couldn't clean it out. Um, so I got the new one, which I love, but it's funny because it didn't come in the mail until after I had left for Christmas because we didn't spend Christmas together. We spent it with our fam respective families. We've never done Christmas together. Um, just because we're not used to it with college and everything. Oh, so right after Christmas, I got excited because I got the email that the hanging makeup case was in stock, which this is the one I had put both of them on my like wish list um, for him. And I just kind of was like, you know, whatever, choose whichever one. So maybe this one wasn't in stock at the time. But this is the like same thing kind of, but it hangs. So it's really good for traveling if you don't have counter space. I think I'm gonna keep this and give it to my mom because my mom travels with my dad a lot and she comes to see us a lot. So I just think it would be good for her. So I think I'm gonna give it to her for her birthday because it's in February um, instead of trying to return it because it would be a really good gift. And I already filled up my black one now and I'll leave my, I'll leave this one linked down below. If there's like anything you wanna spend $50 on, like this is it 100%, it comes with a big mirror that can stand um, makeup holders. You can wipe it out. If it's so much makeup, it's so good. Can't recommend enough. I'll leave it late. I also got their dot kit, which I did not realize how big it is, but I purchased this for myself for like my skincare when I travel because when I travel, like normally like just my makeup fits in here. Um, I can make like my makeup and skincare fit in there, but I hate having to like take so much out and put it back in. So just for convenience sake, I normally don't take a lot out of it. But I got the dot kit because I thought it would be really good for my skincare. But now I'm like, oh, this will be perfect for skincare, hair care, and vitamins. So like everything else. So that like all of my bathroom 
me personal products will be in these two things. Um, but this is literally huge. I'm actually in shock at how big it is. <laughs> I just didn't realize it. But it's so cool because, like, look, it completely opens up like a freaking rectangle. I will leave this link down below too. It can hold so much and the fact that it expands like that's really, really nice. So I'm excited to use this when I travel too because I normally use Glossier like the pink bags that they send but all of my, the zipper things on them are closed or broken. So I don't like that and that's what I normally use for my skincare. So this would be so, so much better and just way, I don't know, it'll just be way better. Just kind of set my desk up um, and cleans it off and everything a bit ago, but I forgot to show y'all. I need to pull my standing mat back out. I kind of stopped using my desk. Um, like I, my last two exams, the last two weeks of studying, I just couldn't stand this environment anymore just because I was so sick of it from being here for six months straight and studying. I imagine it'll suck with working too, but at least I won't be studying. So I need to pull my standing mat back out though so I can use it. Um, I need to also pull out my laptop like elevator thing that puts it at an angle so you can like type with your wrist elevated so it's not as bad on your like posture. I need to pull that out and set it up but that's like my work computer that I got in the mail the other day. I just kind of moved my desktop to the side a little bit. Um, I don't know what I'm going to end up doing like if I'm just going to use my desktop as like a second monitor or I've also considered getting rid of this desktop and getting rid of my laptop and getting a really, really nice MacBook, like a top of the line one, um, especially when I get my CPA bonus <laughs> pending that I pass this last exam. I went ahead and showered, I'm in my Skims soft lounge set. Love, love, love the Skims soft lounge collection. Literally so comfy. Um, I think I'm gonna sit on the couch and just kind of like write out my New Year's goals. Um, I think I said earlier, like it's just such a process, like the whole New Year transition thing. So I think I'm gonna like sit down, write out like my resolutions physically. I don't really need to, cause I have them in my notes, but I kind of like writing them out. So I might just do it anyways. I'm trying to rehydrate and light a candle. I think I'm gonna curl up and start The Seven Husbands of Evelyn, Evelyn Hugo, cause I wanted to read that for so long. So it's about time I do it. Okay, update time, you guys. I am currently sitting on my computer. I didn't want to do this because I didn't want to be on the computer because my head hurts, but I did it anyways because I was like, you know what? I'm not going to end up doing it if I don't do it today. So we did it today. We are easing in to the new year, easing into our resolutions. And my notion has been like this literally since I first made my notion in like October of 20. 20. I just always love the layout. I don't want to bother changing it because I just love it and it takes a lot of time to like get something set up. So literally all I changed was I changed this word from daily habits to tiny habits because I'm actually going to talk about this in my podcast this week about how reframing like our mindset with um, easing into like the new year. And I'm basically going to be emphasizing, I need to hurry up and talk because my computer's going to die. But it's basically emphasizing, um, thinking of habits as like little bite sized things we can do and easing into them by only doing like a few minutes of each thing each day. Kind of talking about that, to, like actually redo this list. Um, a lot of the things will probably be the same, but I need to redo it because this is still from last year. I've got my little, the Spotify playlist embedded, which I don't, I honestly don't use it, but I like that it's there. Um, and it, cause I normally use Notion on my phone. And then we've got the same quote, same little picture. Um, I only, I always put the meals I plan here for the week. Um, thankfully I always have three from HelloFresh and it literally saves my life cause then I only have to plan two meals each week. And then these are like my top tasks. I did update this cause I just, my mind felt kind of scrambled. So I kind of needed to just brain dump right there what I needed to do and then I have my podcast which is like where I plan my episodes and I have like potential guests that I would like to have which that's a whole other problem because I just don't see like myself being able to record with other um work world people with full-time jobs so and then I changed this to 2021 for from 2021 to 2022 I kept the same picture some of these pictures are the same and then some of them I just like swapped out. Like honestly, everything that was on my 2021 is still like my 2022 stuff inspiration wise, but I just wanted to refresh it. So I pulled some pictures from my 2022 vibe instant or not Instagram, Pinterest board. 
and added them on here. I really love that I have this on here. I found this on Pinterest and it's gonna like be a game changer having quick access to it because I am so intimidated by doing a ton of yoga in the mornings because I'm like, I don't have time for that, but like five minutes of stretching, I can do that, that's easy three minutes and like just knowing I can do each one of these like pull up my phone and like glance at it really quick until I memorize each stretch I'm gonna love having that um, readily accessible and then everything else is just yeah everything that's on there and then content creation I'm not gonna show y'all because there are some specific very like specific goals that are kind of like personal in regard to that but basically I just have goals and video ideas and then um yeah, some quotes. This is really funny to look at because I haven't updated it since, oh my gosh, January maybe, February. Literally all of this. It's just funny looking at like everything I was doing. I'm just like, oh my gosh. I remember when I was doing this assignment. Or I don't really use this that often. I only use this if I have like a crap ton of stuff going on and I just like need to organize it. But it's really effective when I do need to do that. So. Good morning, everyone. About to head to the gym, it's 8.40. I actually don't, I think I already told y'all, I don't have to get on until 11 today. I keep like getting confused and not remembering if it's 10 or 11, but I think it's 11. But I'm gonna hit some back and arms. I haven't been up to the apartment gym in probably like a week and a half. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm trying to get back in that routine, obviously. I wanted to like let myself sleep this morning. Um, I wanted to try and like get up early because I wanna get in that routine, but I was like, if I don't have to be up early, I'm not going to, especially because like last night I, got, I like randomly got, re I read one chapter of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and instantly like was like, I, I need to go to bed right now because I was so tired. But I had a raspberry belt bar. It was so good. I haven't had the raspberry one yet. That actually might be my favorite. Like the fruit flavor of it, it just reminds me of like um, the chocolates in like the multi-arrangement assortment ones that have like the raspberry like uh, mousse in it or whatever so good and then i'm trying the grape liquid iv because i had a bunch of people message me i posted that i got it in the mail on my instagram story and a bunch of people are like oh my gosh is it good and i tried it and it is good um i hate artificial grape and it's really not bad like i probably wouldn't like if i was going on liquid iv and buying it myself um it wouldn't be like my first flavor pick or it's probably it wouldn't be one of my first like two or three just because grapes just not something I'm normally inclined to but it does taste like really good like it's not like a bad tasting grape at all it kind of reminds me of just like a great like Jolly Rancher or something but I'm wearing the set active set today um it's like a long line sports bra and then um I have on my little crew ankle socks and my ultra boost and then I'm wearing this sweatshirt to go in the gym. I put my hair in a claw clip because I don't know what to do with it. I don't want it to get messed up because I need to take my badge photo today probably, so I don't want it to get messed up. And also I just washed it, so I don't want it to get too messed up. Hopefully the claw clip doesn't mess anything up. So let's go work out. currently setting up my desk i'm about to log on to orientation i just made coffee because i just realized i hadn't had any coffee yet and i'm actually feeling pretty energized but i think it's because i like worked out but i definitely feel like i haven't had coffee still if you know what i mean so i just made my coffee and I have my water so i can keep hydrating i'm wearing this sweater from aritzia when i went home for christmas i left like all of my hand clothes at home on accident so i don't have like most of my like lighter weight sweaters and button down so i'm gonna be wearing like the same five shirts over the next two weeks until i go home again for a wedding so um but this one's from aritzia it's just like a really lightweight sweater and then i'm wearing my kalia 
These are like the journey pants, I think, and they're so freaking comfy. They're like not sweatpants and they're not leggings. They like are just kind of like a straight leg. I don't know. I really love them though. They're like probably the most comfy pants I own, to be honest. So I'll leave everything linked down below. And then I've got my little G necklace as always. And I'm gonna log on because it says to get on 10 minutes early. And I just took the reason I have makeup on. I'm not gonna be wearing makeup every day to work. I can guarantee you that I don't, my time is too precious to spend time putting on makeup for work. Props to those of you who do, because I would love to look quick together, um, even if it's over Zoom. But I put some on because we just took my batch picture like for going in office and everything. Um, so I need to send that over later on today, but I wanted to go ahead and knock that out and get the picture taken care of. So I went ahead and got ready after I showered. And I also wanted to get ready because I do have to take pictures for a brand later on today, um, which I don't have to do it right now, but I want to go ahead and get it done with before I get like busy or anything. So that's that. So let's log on the work for the first time. Hello everyone, um, I just made a green smoothie. It's like four o'clock. Um, I had my call or whatever earlier for the orientation for like a good hour and 45 minutes. And then when that finished, I decided to, I worked on getting my computer set up and then I was like doing some other stuff on my regular computer because I just had some like admin type of things to take care of like for my badge and everything like that some emails, that kind of thing. So I did that for like an hour and then I set up my actual like work computer. So I got that set up here like 30 minutes ago and then I just got some brand pictures, some Instagram stories and empty photos for a brand. And then I made my green smoothie and I took Ella on a walk earlier, but it's so cold and gloomy out. It's making me so tired. Um, I have some like required stuff that I have to go over before my like learning on early next week. Um, and it says it'll take like three hours. So I kind of want to like, wanted to get it started, but I don't have the password I need to like access it or whatever. So I haven't been able to do that, but that's what I was going to do. And yeah, now I'm just drinking my green smoothie, but I just had some, you know, typical admin first date type of things to take care of. And then of course, trying to knock some stuff out for uh, YouTube and everything, because they just gave us the rest of the day to finish any onboarding we have, which I did all of it. And I have like everything taken care of so far that I need, except for this like learning stuff that I need to do before next week but like I said I can't access it so um that's that but I'm probably going to just like sit here and start editing a video um so that I don't have to worry about it next week and that way I can just be ahead on those things um but I just wanted to update y'all on what's going on It is 6.55, or we just cleaned up after dinner. We did the dishes and like wiped down the counters and stuff, and there's a Rockets game at seven, and our friends are gonna come over and watch with us. Um, but while I was cooking dinner, I was listening to the rest of Dawn FM from the weekend. Um, I don't know how y'all feel about it. You know, I like, y'all know, or if you've watched me for a long time, you know that I like just literally absolutely love and enjoy the weekend. Um, and we had tickets to see them in 2020, which obviously got pushed back. And now he like basically refunded, I guess, all of the 2022 or all of the 2020 tickets, which I don't think I ever got a refund, but I don't think I ever claimed the tickets because of COVID. So I don't really, I need to like go back and see if like the money ever actually came out of my account. But anyways, I still want to really want to see him this year um, when he releases tickets. So hopefully I can, but love the new album. I started listening to it last night and I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. But I was just like laying in bed about to go to bed. And then today when I was in the gym, I was like doing a pretty chill workout. Like it wasn't anything too intense. And then I had my headphones in and it was like a completely different experience. And I love it so much. I feel like at the After Hours album was like a transition into like this style of music that he's kind of like going into for this album. Um, very like techno pop, 80s reminiscent. And um, I love that it's like the weekend style in regard to his lyrics, but then he has like this whole new sound and it's truly an ex, ex experience of an album which i think is what he wanted so i really like it but yeah, i really enjoyed it i finished listening to it um while cooking dinner and i really really like it i have a couple like favorite songs and then other songs that i'm just kind of like whatever about 
but when After Hours came out in 2020, I only liked three or four songs and now I like love that entire album with my whole heart just as much as I love like the other ones. I got a decent amount of this video edited. Tomorrow's gonna be like the laziest day of my life. I'm so excited because it's storming tomorrow all day. So I'm going to lay on the couch. I'm going to probably record my podcast. Like I will do a little bit of productive stuff. I was better than uh, cheesecake factory. <laughs> Griffin, just, Griffin just said the HelloFresh cheesecake that they sent is like a perk was better than the cheesecake factory. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, that was good. That it, it is really good. Like that's a solid cheesecake, and it's like just this like little personal size. I'm so looking forward to tomorrow, but we're gonna have like some wine tonight and chill. Hi everyone, good morning. I have my AirPods in, so it feels weird that I'm like talking to y'all right now. Um, but they're not playing. I'm just editing a video, so I have my AirPods in. Two guys, nine hours of sleep last night for the first time, and literally I don't know how long. Um, I didn't set an alarm this morning. I went to bed around like 12.45, I think, and I got up at uh, 9.45. Um, I kept like waking up this morning, but I was like, nope, just close your eyes, go back to bed. Um, and I didn't set an alarm, it was so lovely. Um, and it's like super foggy and it's supposed to like start storming in a little bit, so a very chill day. Um, I think we're gonna go to dinner later and maybe grab drinks with our friends that we hung out with last night. So we just hung out for like two hours with them. And then um, I read some of Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And then I finally went to bed, but it was still pretty late when I went to bed just because um, I was also doing some stuff on my phone. But yeah, um, I am editing right now. And this vlog is literally like an hour long. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, I don't really wanna cut like too much. I'm gonna go back through and try to cut some out that like I just think is like random talking that doesn't need to be in there. But I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog definitely stay tuned for more vlogs to come be patient with me i don't know how frequently i'll be able to edit and how quickly i'll be able to get things up but i'm gonna try my best to upload once a week on sunday or mondays um and or wait no wednesdays i want to try wednesdays not sundays or mondays I'm, if i ever have an additional video it'll probably be on a sunday um but just count on wednesdays i guess for right now i don't know but yeah i wanted to end off the vlog properly but i love you all so much be sure to check out build bar in the description box to get 10 percent off and use my code and um be sure to subscribe if you aren't already check out my podcast and follow me on my social media that's linked down below i'll have all the links to everything that i mentioned in the vlog in the description box and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload and i love you all so much and i'm excited to document uh the rest of all of this life to come with you all so be sure to subscribe and i will see you all in my next vlog